more rides on the T may soon be free. Mayor Wu announced a plan to expand fare-free bus service in Boston. WBZ's Beth Germano joins us live in Mattapan. And Beth, she says this has the potential to be life-changing. Well, it seemed like a radical idea from then-candidate Michelle Wu, free fares across the city. But today, out of the starting gate, she took the first steps, hoping to expand a pilot program already underway that would make fares free not just on one bus route, but three. The signs are already there. Ride for free on the 28 bus, and riders say it's a welcome relief. I was, I was shocked it was free this morning when I got on, so yeah. I think it was a good idea. It's been a three month pilot program that Mayor Michelle Wu now wants to expand and is seeking an $8 million appropriation in federal funds to make it happen. Funds already made available through the American Rescue Plan to help communities impacted by the pandemic. Out of the starting gate in her new job, Wu wants to make good on a signature promise. Our charge is to see every person and listen, to meet people where they are, to give hope. And deliver on it. Not just the 28 bus, but she wants two other routes, the 23 and 29, to be fare free. Routes that serve a lot of low income residents. Wu believes the pilot program is working and has increased ridership significantly. And groups like the Livable Street Alliance say it's in the numbers. The ridership on that route is almost up to pre pandemic levels and is now the most popular bus route in the entire MBTA system. Wu agrees the benefits are already being proven, and while the idea still needs city council approval, it's making the grade with riders who depend on these routes. It helps with for folks that aren't able to do it, like aren't able to get to work on time or don't have the funds to do so. I think it helps. Now, if approved, the free fares on the three routes would extend to two years. Time to measure if the benefits are there. Reporting live from Mattapan, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Beth.